Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thought Leadership Thursday with KPM Analytics. KPM Analytics supplies instruments that measure critical quality parameters of incoming ingredients, how they perform during the baking process, and ensures that the final quality meets your spec. Their comprehensive range of analyzers are used by food producers throughout the world to improve their uh, efficiencies, qualities, and obviously to protect your brand. Today, we are joined by Arnaud Dubat. He's the Director of Business Development at KPM Analytics. So if you know Arnaud like I know Arnaud, he knows his dough. And when he sees a dough, he'll be able to tell you how it's going to perform. Welcome, Arnaud. Can you tell us a little <laughs> bit more about yourself? Thank you, Lynn. It looks like a kind of guru or, 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 you are or, a guru. or wizard. I wish I, <laughs> I, 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 I wish I would be more wizard. Uh, yeah, now thank you for the kind introduction. Yes, my name is Arnaud Duba. Uh, I am working for KPM Analytics uh, and I'm more specifically involved in the Chopin branch, brand. Uh, and this for more than 35 years now. So that's why uh, I have seen uh, some of those already. Um, and basically what I'm doing now, I am uh, visiting a lot of customers and, and more and more a lot of bakers and uh, trying to discuss with them about uh, improvement in uh, flour specifications and uh, dough control and eventually vision system because we do have that in, in KPM. So we have a um, nice discussion about trying to see what are the issues and try to find the best analytical solution. So within this solution, we can be measuring water absorption, we can measure the dough tenacity, extensibility, stickiness, this kind of thing, even proofing fermentation uh, so it's quite wide what we can offer. Great. So um, you said that you can measure the proofing and fermentation. Um, do you have, uh, why do we need to do that? Because we, it, do... I mean, regular bakers would just proof it and bake it. Why, why, why do you need to measure that fermentation capability? Because because proofing is magic. That that that's where a big part of the bread magic uh, happens. Uh, because yeah, it doubles basically, the size of your dough. That's what. <laughs> yeah, what what's happening there? I mean, you just take a piece of dough and you put it into a chamber, and then suddenly it's a big living product, more or less. Sometimes not. And uh, and and that's that's a real question. That's a real question, particularly today. You know, well, it's not today, but. We have more and more traditional way of doing it. We have long proofing, uh, long fermentation. We have more and more people using uh, starters, uh, sourdough, uh, this kind of thing. And all of that not only impact the taste, uh, but it also impact the way the, the, the bread is going to to rise. Um, so do you it's have really... something like, yeah, I mean, if you say it's important, then do you have something to measure it? Yes, we do have. We we have one tool which was invented years ago, and and we still had that in our range. That's one of my favorite tools uh, because it really gives you a lot of information. And the name is Rio Rio F4. Uh, the, what the, would the, you the... um, what would you do with a Rio F4? Is it used it... for flower quality analysis? Yes, in fact, the, what you do in in the with the Rio F4, you you take a piece of dough, you can make the dough our, 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 as you want, uh, and you can even take a dough from the production line and you put it into a, a kind of tank. Uh, and in this tank, we are going to measure the gas production. Uh, we are going to measure the gas retention and the impact on the volume. It, it's really interesting to see that. You know, sometimes bakers, they complain because the bread volume is not good. Uh, it might be too big, too low, but it's not good. And it's interesting that if you want to have a certain volume, you need to have two things. You need to have gas production and gas retention. Because if you produce and you do not retain, you have no volume. Uh, it's like spending the money to do something, but you can't keep it. <laughs> it's just blowing the air. Yes. Uh, but at the same the time, air. if you have... A, 
if you have a huge, huge retention, but you have no production, you have a bad volume. So basically you can end up with the same problem for very different topics. One should be related to the yeast activity and the other one to the dough properties. Uh, but for the wow. baker at the end, it's, it's the same problem. So analyzing what's happening during proofing and understanding if it comes from the dough or from the yeast, uh, that's very important information to know where to correct. So that's what the, the real F4 is bringing. So with most flower quality instrumentation, um, we do need to start somewhere with the water absorption, right? Mm -hmm. How does water absorption affect the Rio F4? That's, that's also somewhere that the Rio is a little bit apart. The other one is, is, is a maverick, you know? Uh, it doesn't care, well, when I say it doesn't care, of course, absorption will uh, impact, but it's not a kind of quality tool that you want to compare uh, with other one. It's just something you need to know what is happening to you though. So basically you are going to put the water absorption or to mix the dough as close as you want to use the dough. So if you have a long mixing time with a high uh, absorption, you will use the same. Um, and, and if you have the contrary, if you are doing it, short version you, you you can do that so that's absolutely adaptable that's what makes it uh very nice and then so when we you don't fix... need to run water absorption tests first no you don't oh. you don't you, you it's exactly imagine you are making a baking that's a very good use of it you are making baking test and one of the piece of dough you put it on the reel so you really know what's happening in your proofing chamber it's not uh -huh. you're not blind anymore Oh, nice, nice. Then how long is it to run a Rio F4 test? As long as your proofing time. Uh, if you have a proofing time of 1.5 hour or 90 minutes or whatever, which 1.5, 90 is the same. But if you have a short briefing time, you can adjust it. And we had some users in Argentina. They made some proof on a kind of ciabatta dough and they had 24 hours proofing. Oh, in, <laughs> in the Rio F4? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, but uh, very little. They were using 0.3 percent yeast, so it was really slow, slow, slow fermentation. Yeah. Uh, so the but machine can measure from half an hour to 24 hours if you need. So, can I ask you what do they? What information do they use from that to make the process better? The the information is. Uh, I just give you one. There are many, but I just give you one example. In fact, when, when you are proofing the dough, so you can see the gas production, so it's producing. And at the same time, it's retaining. There is a certain point where you start to lose the gas. There's nothing wrong about that. It's good. But uh, some dough, they, they collapse, really. When they start breaking, they collapse. Okay. Other ones, they are more stable. Now, imagine that you are just putting your dough into the oven at the moment, at the very moment, it starts collapsing. What do you think will happen? Fall down during mm -hmm. the oven spring. So in that case, you can use this information to say, okay, I'm not going to put it into the oven at this moment, but maybe earlier. Uh, and on the other side, if you have always timings to respect, you need to make sure that your dough will be at the perfect stage before putting it into the baking oven. So that kind of example we can do. Right. And it's really impressive where bakers could actually use this real F4 to cut fermentation time too. Yep. To determine the proper yeast value, um, you know, determine whether it should go in at, at 45 minutes or 15 minutes, you know, and then determine even if you cut back 10 minutes on your proofing time, it's gonna speed up your lines really fast. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely one of the biggest advantage of Rio F4, just yes. understanding. Do we yes. have any other advantages with this particular instrument over say, like we've talked about the Mixolab and the Alveograph? Yeah, sure. Well, all, all these tools with a lot of graphs and labs, uh, basically what they are measuring, they are measuring the dual properties. So they are going to give you a lot of example of, of example of information on how the dough is going to behave, which is mostly about how it is going to retain the gas. Uh, but once again, the capacity of retaining gas is one part of what's happening during proofing. If you retain well, 
and you do not produce, you still have you still are in trouble. So that's what the Rio is bringing. So it it goes very well side by side, either with an alveolab lab or, or with the mixolab. lab. That's a very good complement to have, particularly for bakers, but also for millers because they can use that for formulating with enzymes and ingredients, whatever. Wow, that's incredibly fascinating when someone can um, get an instrument to work this way for them. So I am really interested to see uh, this particular piece of instrumentation. Hopefully it will be available. Um, if you have any more questions uh, concerning how to make your fermentation process better, contact KPM Analytics, all right? So thank you, Arno, for coming in today and sharing all your insights. Um, thank you, Lynn. Yeah, I'll see you very soon. And happy Thursday, happy baking, and don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. All right, bye. Bye-bye.